But you're not supposed to be here. Why not? I mean, your mom's not here, right? Yeah, she went to a newspaper conference. I told you that yesterday. Oh, look, I just, I just wanted to make sure that you got everything straight, you know what I mean? So when we meet in New York City today, you know? Yes, I'll make away as soon as I can and we'll meet on top of the Empire State Building, okay? Okay, and you got to be there at 10, okay? At the latest. We'll meet there every hour on the hour if something goes wrong, okay? You got it. I gotta, I gotta go. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna miss my train. Okay. Oh, I can't believe we're doing this. This is both gonna make us late. I don't care. I do. I care. Oh my God! Someone's coming. Oh, look, look. Empire State Building, ten o'clock. Okay? okay, go. Okay. Yes, Jessica. Jesse? Dad, hi. What are you doing here? Well, I was on my way home from the hospital, and I thought you might like to know how your grandpa's doing. Oh, yeah, right. Is he okay? Uh, you know, I'd kind of like to know who you were talking to just now. I don't know what you mean, Dad. There's no one else here. That's not what I asked you. I wasn't talking to anyone. Better? Well, I reckon it pretty much tells me what I need to know. Meaning what? Meaning I heard two voices, Jesse. And I felt a draft. That means that door was open and closed and somebody left here pretty quick. And I can guess who it was. Dad, you I mean, who else could it be? Who else could it be? Now, obviously, you felt you had no choice, so you just chose to lie. How do you know? You, you deliberately... Disobeyed me, you disobeyed your mother, and Chris's mother too, Mrs. Vega, uh, she agreed with us, remember? All right, fine, fine, Dad, you want me to say it was Chris, okay? But he only stopped by for a little second because he had to show me this, this thing for school, because we wouldn't be able to talk, because I'm not going to be there, because I'm going to be in New York on a trip. Oh, no, you won't. No, you what? won't. What? There's no trips. It's classes and home. That's it. You can't say no, Dad. This is, uh, it leaves at 7.30, the bus. It's part of school, Dad. It's a class trip. I don't need the permission anyway. Excuse me? Yeah. Mom signed it before she left. Our permission slip. Well, your permission slip just got unsigned. You cannot do that, Dad. That is so unfair. Well, maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. But what you're doing isn't fair either. I'm sorry, but you brought this on yourself. Dad, I don't think you understand how important this is. And I don't think you seem to understand how important you are to me and your mother. Now, if you think I enjoy this, Jesse... Dad, please, I'll do anything. I mean, I won't argue with you and Mom anymore. I'll listen to everything you say. If you just let me go, just this once, Dad, please. I, I, I'll even go to Europe, just like you want me to. Well, you're going to spend the summer in Europe anyway. We settled that a long time ago. Oh, no, we didn't. I never said that I was going to... The gonna... subject is closed. Why are you treating me like this, Dad? This is my life. I'm sorry, Jesse. But the answer is no, and that's final. I hate you. I hate you. That's final, okay? Now try telling yourself that you're just being a good father. You have a daughter who won't ever speak to you ever again. I'll never forgive you for this. I just came in to sit this down. I'll... No, that's all right, Tina. You stay. I'm going to have to call Jesse's school and let him know that they don't have to wait for her. Nobody in this house is going on any class trips today. I hate him. I hate him. Oh, my God, I hate him so much. I hate him. It's all right. Okay. 